Tell us about the news today about uh, SVOD and Nielsen and what you guys are doing and what it means. Yeah, it's really exciting news. For the first time, we're bringing transparency across to nonlinear viewing of audiences to services such as Netflix. And that transparency is very critical for our media owners and studio houses who are working in which to understand the audience sizes to this content so that when they go to the negotiation table, they have data that enables them to empower their decision-making process. When they're looking at windowing of those audiences across different distribution windows, different distribution platforms, they have that complete view of the audience. So uh, tell us about other, how, the implications for other SVOD services or what you guys are doing or how this might roll out. Yeah, so we're starting with Netflix, but the goal is to extend this out to the SVOD landscape as a whole. We have 13,000 episodes under direct measurement that really is enabling them to understand that total audience consumption at an age gender break and a true comparable rating to te linear television. So um, what have been some of the challenges? And if you could also explain a little bit, uh, is it a panel, is it software? Tell us how you guys do this. Yeah, so we leverage our television panel in which to measure and understand the audience composition of viewing these programs and episodes. We have a unique system that allows us to capture the signatures and understand who is actually watching these episodes in the home. So tell us about... Um, what the implications are for advertisers because Netflix, of course, is uh, advertiser free. Yeah, look, I think at the end of the day, everyone wants to understand that total content consumption because as the ecosystem evolves and viewing behavior changes, you could see advertising mix and the non-advertising platforms transition over to advertise supported platforms. So really understanding the best opportunity for content owners and creators to monetize those valuable assets is really the transparency that our clients have asked for. Cool. And just give us an overview on um, you know, uh, uh, what you're doing in OTT and sort of where that stands. Um, we hear that OTT is coming of age, mm -hmm. that measurement is matured. Um, uh, you know, tell us your thoughts on that. Yeah, so you know, OTT is growing. Um, it's obviously a phenomenon that we're tracking. We track 100% of that television screen glass and have so for more than a decade. And what that enables us to do is to truly understand how those behaviors are evolving over time. In uh, OTT-capable homes, so homes that have Roku's and Chromecast and um, Fire Sticks and other things, we're seeing that 10 to 12 percent of total television viewing time is being spent coming from those devices. And then, more interesting, when you break that down to an age gender, the younger demographic, like 18 to 34, you're seeing 20 to up to 22 percent of the total time spent is actually spent watching video on those devices. Cool, and um, who's, um, what's the need for measurement in OTT? That's kind of a very basic question. Is the demand coming from the buyers or the publisher broadcasters or everybody? Or? Well, everyone follows the consumer, so they want to make sure that they can monetize those consumers regardless of where they view and how they view and when they view. So you're seeing a growing demand as the time spent on these devices are growing. In our total audience report, we talked about that in a given day, uh, the growing uh, audience is about seven minutes per day uh, coming from these devices, uh, OTT more specifically, 11 minutes for digital. So the opportunity in which to monetize these audiences is becoming really real.